Welcome back to the Band Guide, where we use GarageBand to create professional sounding music. I'm your band guy, Colin, and today is the, I think, fourth video in the Ultimate GarageBand Beginner's Guide. This video series is going to walk you through everything you need to know from the very first time you open up GarageBand until you are exporting out your final mixed and mastered song. We're actually going to go through the recording, mixing, and mastering process for a short song together in the series as well. So you'll get to see everything happening in real time in GarageBand. Super helpful. But beyond just the video series, I wanted to go a step further for you and give you a completely free Ultimate GarageBand guide. This is a downloadable guide that will walk you through everything you need to know as well from the first time you open GarageBand until you export out that final song. So you can quickly reference back to it anytime you're mixing a song, for example, or you go to master a song, you're like, how do I, man, what is mastering again? It's all there for you in that guide. There's a link in the description below. It's completely free, so be sure to pick it up. But let's go and get into today's video where we're walking through the GarageBand drum track. So when you first open up GarageBand and you create your own session, you're going to be prompted with four options here. We went over the audio tracks in yesterday's video, so go back and watch that if you haven't already. Today we're talking about the GarageBand drummer track. I truly believe this is one of the biggest best inventions in modern music production. It is amazing and it's the exact same drummer, 99% of the exact same drummer that you have built into Logic. There's almost no differences in the Logic drummer. So let's go through what you can actually do with this thing. We'll create a track here, and right off the bat, it's gonna populate a region here for you. So if I just hit the space bar to play, we'll hear drums being played. We don't have to do anything. We already have a drum part in our song, which is super cool. Uh, so let's look at all the different things that we have set up here. The drummer track is really broken out into three kind of four sections. First up here, we have an actual drummer. So there's distinct drummers with distinct different styles. So right now it's on Kyle, who's a pop rock drummer, but we could go to Anders, who's a hard rock drummer. All right, very different. And then we could go to, let's say, Ian, who's a Britpop drummer. But then we can actually even go into, if you go to hip top, there's even like a trap drummer here. We have a boom bap. Right, so, so many options. We're just gonna stick to rock for now. But keep in mind, there's also a singer-songwriter. There's a funky songwriter. I mean, so many options. We can go through these all day. But let's just stick to Kyle for the time being, just for demonstration purposes. So there's the drummer, and then there's the sound. So with each drummer, they have kind of a preset drum sound that they typically play on. Kind of like a drummer who has their own drum kit. Kind of cool. So you'll see Kyle is on SoCal. If I change it to Max here, it's going to change to East Bay. If I change to Logan, it's going to change to the Retro Rock Kit. So it will change depending on the drummer. But no matter what drummer you choose, so even if I have Kyle here and we're on the SoCal, that kit sounds like this. But if I decide for my song, I just like one of these other drum kits better, I can choose one of these other drum kits. Right, so you have that flexibility. So the drummer is our first piece, the sounds are our second piece. The third piece is this editor window here. So if this ever closes for you, you can click these scissors up here in the top corner or just hit E on the keyboard to bring this up. This is where you determine what part is actually being played. So for whatever region you have selected here, because you can have multiple regions for like the different sections of your song. So for example, if I just add one here, I now have a second region. Whichever region or regions you have selected, whatever you change here is going to change what that drummer is doing and you get a lot of control over it. So right now he's playing this, but I could switch to Crash the Party, or Echo Park. And once you get one that's like kind of the vibe of what you're going for, you can continue to tailor it. So I can play with how loud he's playing or how complex and loud or if I want it to be simple and loud or simple and quiet or complex and quiet, right? So you can be anywhere in here. This is an X, Y, where you can just go anywhere in between those two variables and make it whatever you want it to be. So you can get it really tailored to the part that you want there. And then you can go even a step further. Let's say you like the part he's playing, but you want to play on the toms instead of the hi-hats. I can switch that over here, or I could have them on the cymbals. And let's say I want to add a tambourine. 
and then a shaker, claps, right? You have so much flexibility here. And notice here that while this one changed, this region over here didn't change at all. So if I wanted to change that, now I'd select that. I could move this around, change what's being played. And now it's a different part over here. So now it's gonna transition between those two sections, right? And if I wanted to just have more of what I had in the first one, I could either delete this and just extend this region over, or I could Command C to copy it and then just paste it over here. Okay, so that's a quick overview of what all you get with the drummer. Super powerful, by the way, the regions here are the fourth. So we have the drummer is the first, sounds are the second, this editor window is the third, and then these regions are the fourth component of the drummer. If you wanna go deeper with the drummer, I've done a longer walkthrough, that link above here that you can check out. And before you go, be sure to download the ultimate GarageBand guide from the link in the description below. It's really gonna help you out. If this video is helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.